Now, I'm back, you know, to the typical videos, back here, but in today's video, you probably saw the thumbnail and the title. I'm gonna be talking about, like, video game movies are gonna be, like, some of the best movie ideas ever yet, like, there, there are now uh, going to be a bunch of abundances of video game movies. Not only that, um, they've even, they even done them a long time ago. There was a old Super Mario Bros. movie versus the new one. And then you have the old Mortal Kombat movie versus the relatively new one. I mean, that one came out in 2020, so, I think. So, yeah, some of them are good, some of them are bad, but there is a lot coming. I'm telling you right now. So, the Mario movie, we all know, like, people were like, oh, yeah, that was the one that started it off. And I'm like, yeah, it did kind of start it off. It started off the trend because that did really well. Then there was the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which, you know, had been in the works for, like, ever, going to studio to studio to studio until they went to Blumhouse and they were like, make this movie. And then we were like, okay, then, yeah, we'll do it. And then they did it. And it was really well, actually. It did very well. Now there's going to be a second one, third one, and maybe a fourth one. I don't know. Yet. But. With all these gaming movies doing well, Hollywood is now taking a look at it. And thinking, we need to do more movies like these. Because these are already written. They can like literally just follow the game story. Put it into a movie with real actors. And then they got a blockbuster. Literally. Not even, bro. It's actually awesome, I guess. It's awesome for the fans of the games. And for Hollywood, too, because they can get, the fans can get what they love, and they can get, the Hollywood can get a lot of money. There's one company in particular that did not really do a good job executing that kind of video game stuff. They, I, aka Paramount Pictures Halo, the Halo series. Now, I'm going to say it right now, they, it looks pretty good. Besides the one thing that I that really gets me. Now, Xbox's original idea for Master Chief is that the reason why he keeps on his helmet and his mask is so people can imagine him as hit yourself. There is no face to the iconic character. It's a mask. You can think of it as anyone. In the series, they throw that all away. And then they make it so the main character takes off the mask and it's just some random guy. So, yeah. I, that didn't really execute very well overall. That one is like the only one that I can really think that didn't do that well for me that I've seen. But with all of the recent video game movies, uh, actually, recently, Borderlands movie just got announced and it already sounds pretty cool. I don't really know the actors list yet. I haven't really paid attention or looked into that yet. But that sounds actually fire. That sounds peak. There's also been told, Nintendo said they are going to do a Legend of Zelda movie. They already have, like, a director. They don't have a cast yet. But they're doing the movie. Which is actually insane. So that means, are they going to do movies for all of, like, their games? They're going to be a Kirby movie. There's going to be... I, I can't really think of a lot of stuff. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be insane when you think about it, man. And also, the fact that not only are, like, Nintendo and a bunch of other studios are realizing, man, we can make so much money off of this, and people will love it. So, they're doing it, which is perfect. So, I'm telling you, the next couple of, like, years or so, or, like, the next 10 years, I'm assuming, maybe, there's going to be a lot of video game movies and box offices and stuff. I think that might happen. Now, I'm going to say right now, it like there's some games that don't deserve movies and then games that absolutely deserve movies. Um a game that absolutely deserves a movie, best example, God of War. Literally, if you do the original games and then the new Kratos stuff, it'd actually be insane. I'd watch that. I'd love that. That'd be crazy. People would love that. They just got to find the good the best actor for it and stuff. Yeah. It's going to be great. It's going to be cool. It's going to be insane. Now, the thing is, if the actors aren't, ex like, they don't do their roles very well, 
Now, I remember one role from the Borderlands thing, and is that Robert Downey Jr. is going to play Claptrap, which I'm kind of like, okay, then that's cool. But I know some people are like, man, that sucks. I don't like that. I'm like, okay, then, dude, you can have your opinion. I don't really care. I haven't even played Borderlands. I just think that sounds interesting. Also, for game developers, the movie actually brings a lot of publicity to the games. and People are either going to, A, replay them, or B, play them for the first time. Either way, you get money. Win-win. So it's literally a win for everyone. Doing these movies is going to be the best thing that Studios was ever going to do. Ever. And Disney, I don't think they own any video game rights or are going to get a studio. It's going to be Illumination and Sony. Illumination and Sony are going to get all of it. Because I don't think anyone really wants to partner up with Disney. So, yeah. Like, Disney's going to get, like, the further end of this. Also, big thing that I we 90% heard of, there is going to be a Minecraft movie, and Jack Black is going to be in it. Which is insane. This game, when it's been out for over 10 years, 10 years, and is one of the most iconic games, most sold games ever, is now getting a movie. And that stuff, that movie better slap so hard. I'm going to say that right now, all right? But overall, movies are going to be awesome, I think, for the next couple of years with all these movie announcements. It's going to be awesome, I'm hoping. We're all hoping, all right? Bye.